Everyone, so today I'm going to be trying the carbonated water rinse or the soda rinse for the hair. One of you actually suggested that I try this out, so I went ahead and researched about it. And thank you, by the way, you guys, every single time you suggest um, a mask or a rinse that I should try, I really get excited about it. I'll share with you guys my experience and what I think about it. So here are the claims. They said that the carbonated water or the soda water or the sparkling water works exactly the same as of the apple cider vinegar without the pungent smell because it helps to clarify your scalp and hair to remove any product buildup. It reduces frizz in your hair because of its low pH level. It can also help soften your hair, strengthen it, and make it shiny. And I also saw this Korean beauty program that they actually used carbonated water and, and the girl there explained how it works. So basically, they got a model and then they have this device thing to check her scalp. So when they checked her scalp, they saw that there are some white residue on her scalp, probably that's a product buildup, and also that her scalp was sensitive. They saw that there were excess sebum on the scalp as well. They said it was blocking the hair follicles. So what this lady did is that she just rinsed her hair with carbonated water. They washed it off her hair. They checked her scalp again and they saw that the white residues were gone. The excess sebum that was blocking the hair follicles were also gone as well. And um, they've seen that the strands of her hair actually looked shinier. And also a little tip that she gave there, she said that it's best to use the carbonated water, the plain carbonated water that doesn't really have any sugar on them or flavoring or coloring. So I'm going to explain everything that I'm going to be using and let's get started. So what I have here are two kinds. The first one is the Perrier sparkling water and the other one is the soda water or the carbonated water from Schweppes. So you can either use the soda water or you can use the sparkling water. Now this one right here is a natural mineral water fortified with gas from the spring and the spring is said to be completely naturally carbonated. So if this is not available in your area, you can also use this soda water which of course contains carbonated water and sodium bicarbonate which is also known as baking soda. Soda. It totally depends on you, what you'd like to use. I tried actually using both. They worked very well and they worked the same. So in a plastic basin, I'm going to pour in one cup of sparkling water and then one cup of water. So I just used a 50-50 proportion. So the longer your hair, the more you'll be needing this. So now I'm going to rinse my scalp and hair using this. So if you're using this for cleaning your scalp alone, then focus on washing your head instead of your whole hair, if that is your goal. It was actually hard to wash my whole scalp in this position, but for demonstration purposes, I showed you guys how I did it. But when I stopped the camera, I actually washed my hair and scalp with the carbonated water in the sink because it was easier to really rinse my whole scalp that way. And also I let the rest of my hair be saturated and rinsed with the carbonated water as well. And lastly, I did a two-minute scalp massage on my head. Now, I know that some people actually use this carbonated rinse after they wash their hair using a shampoo and after that, let their hair air dry. However, I also tried using this when my hair was dry and then after that, I just used my shampoo and conditioner and I found that the results were still the same. So it works either way and I know some people prefer to do it this way as well. Okay, so this is the result of the carbonated water rinse on my hair. My hair actually feels extra soft right now. And it's kind of it's kind of the how they having that feeling of just like, you know, my hair is a lot more lighter. I guess because it's more relaxed. And also made the strands of my hair even more straight because sometimes I, you know, my hair is naturally straight, but then my hair is not pin straight. So therefore, sometimes I get a little bit of waves after um, I wash my hair. And also my scalp feels very clean. Let me just tell you guys that you know, when you use this, probably you'd be wondering like, oh my gosh, what are these white, you know, residues off from your hair? You might think it's dandruff, but sometimes it's just product buildup. So if when you wash your hair and when you see all those things coming out of your hair, don't be shaken. It's probably the carbonated water just detoxing your scalp and just getting rid of those product buildup that was left from either your dry shampoo or whatever products that you're putting on your hair. And also it is said that you can use this a few times a week or just once a week. So that is it. So if you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below on what more hair DIYs that you want me to try. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!